Hey guys, this has been my most requested video, so I thought I'd better get this knocked out before I start getting hate mail. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, this is the one inch dowel, what I use on my smaller sticks. I, this is the ones I wrapped the paracord handle, so the handle's a little bigger. Uh, you can do it without, you know, especially for smaller hands, but this is what I use. So, three quarter, one inch copper reducer. Uh, and obviously, you can't put a one inch dowel into a three quarter reducer, so I carve a, a uh, shoulder on it and uh, fits right on there perfectly. That takes a little practice to get that right. There's tools you can do it with, but uh, if you take your time, you can do it. So you get there. I like to use a 3 8 forstner bit. Uh, you can use a drill bit, but it is hard to drill a straight hole with these. It's pretty easy for me. I like it. Drill my hole there. Drill my hole in my in my stick, in my topper. It's a, I think that's a 5 16 3 8 uh, threaded rod. The threaded rods are good because the epoxy will really hold on to it. So you're going to mix your epoxy. I use two part. I mean, you can use any kind you want. This is five minute epoxy. That's why I'm not, uh, I'm not going to put this topper on here on the camera because you got to have 14 hands to do it and get it right. So, uh, mix your, mix your epoxy. As soon as you start mixing it, it's going off. It's getting ready. So you need to be quick. Mix it, dab it in the hole. Smear it on here, dab it in the hole, smear it around here, and uh, so when you smear it around here and you put your coupling on, you're going to get some push through, so just take your cloth and wipe that off, and you ease this in here as easy as you can. You shouldn't get much, but always make sure you paint these before you do this, because if you do this and then turn around and try to paint it, you're going to have epoxy up here, and it's not going to take your paint, so... That's it. I mean, basically, that is, that's it right there. It's not rocket science. It's pretty easy. Uh, but when you put your epoxy in here, be ready to set this thing where you want it. Like this right here is going to be my front. So I want this dude lined up. And you need to line it up, get it like you want it, and hold it for just a little while. And this copper coupling is going to get hot within just a few minutes. And when you feel it get hot, it's going off, it's doing this business. And within another few minutes, it starts cooling off. It's basically done. I mean, it needs to cure overnight, but you can't really move it uh, once it does that. Now there is 30 minute epoxy, you can do that. That's fine. There's no problem with that. Uh, I'm just, I'm not patient. <laughs> so I want it done right now. Uh, and after this sets, you can put your finish on it and you're done. So, I mean, that's that's it. And another thing, when I do these shoulders, let's see if you guys can see this. I like to take a V-tool and run down them. I don't know if you can see those grooves or not. That'll help hold it. That epoxy will just give it something to hold on to. And I like to have about, I don't know, a quarter inch or so gap between my topper and my stick to give that room for that epoxy to set in there and i also bevel the top so when you have that on there you have room when you drop your epoxy in there you have room for it to run down in the sides also so that's just little tricks i mean you'll learn but it's it's basically it's simple it's, it's not hard get your get your hole straight Get it deep enough where it'll hold. And that is basically it. So, just want to show you guys that right quick. I'll try to do a more in-depth one later on when I can actually put one together. But I'm fixing to go to church, and I don't have time right now. So, all right, guys. I appreciate it. Love you guys. Hope this helps. If it does, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. Also, I got a money-saving tip. 
cut your own hair and save you money. All right, see you guys. Bye.